I've had a brainstorm whilst I've been driving around I kind of decided to myself that I'm going to make this video my first vlogmas video so I've really really wanted to do vlogmas I wanted to do it last year but I don't live a very exciting life like I do because it's quite heavy oh shh Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's vlog. So I thought I would take you along with me today because I've got a very busy day. I'm just getting Parker ready for school, just getting the juice ready. Um, when we come back from the school run, I've got some cleaning and bits and bobs to do. <laughs> and then, you want some juice? Then I've got some special deliveries coming, which I am very excited about. It's juice! You don't want juice. All right, don't then. Have your toast. Are you being a winger binger, Danny? You right, Parks? More. What do you mean more? More toast? More toast with peanut butter on You want peanut butter this time? Okay. So, yeah, I've got some exciting deliveries coming today that I've ordered. Um, so, I'll show you those later. I then need to drop Danny at her nanny's at 12 because we have a childcare bubble and I've got a night shift tonight. But she's going around there early today because Parker's birthday is coming up on the 23rd of December. I need to pop to B&M. Um, I need to get his birthday presents. I've got one present but I want to get a couple more. I've then got to go to Pets at Home. I've then got to go to... I don't know if I'm going to go to Aldi's or Lidl's. I haven't decided yet, but I've got to go to a shop to do a big food shop. And I mean like a big food shop. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do this month is do like a food shop to last the month. I mean, we get HelloFresh every week anyway, which um, we order three meals. And then two nights a week when I do a night shift, Dan and the kids have homemade pizza. So that's five. Then we have a roast one day and then we've got a spare day where... We have whatever we fancy um so i'm thinking about doing a shop for the month because obviously we're coming out of lockdown next week and hang on a minute babe hang on um i can just imagine that all the shops are just going to be so busy there's going to be no social distancing and i just don't want to be stepping foot in any shops after next week basically what's broke <coughs> says please connect the controller it is connected. Right, you just have to press the big one in the middle. Right, press A and continue. All right. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, got a very, very busy day today. I need to do some housework and stuff. And basically, I thought I would bring you along with me for the day. So I hope you enjoy it, guys. Um, I love filming vlogs. It's one of my favourite videos to film. Um, so can you do me a favour please, if you do enjoy watching my vlogs, please can you make sure you give it a thumbs up because it helps me to judge kind of what content you guys are liking, if you know what I mean. But yeah, anyway, hope you enjoy. I'm going to get back to doing the kids breakfast and getting them out the door because I've got 15 minutes till I've got to go. <laughs> it's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me The snow is falling down and the storm is on its way But as long as you're around Everything will be okay Cause all I wanna do is spend this holiday with you Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for me and you so, It is five past nine. I've just got home from the school one. It is so cold today Minus two degrees the car said. God bloody love it. Jack Frost has definitely been last night. Let me show you don't know if you can see I don't think you can see but it is very very frosty out there a cup of tea and biscuits <gasps> yum yum should we put that on here okay cup of tea and biscuits okay yum which one's your favourite 
The black ones, isn't it? <laughs> yum, yum. So I've just made Danny a cup of tea and biscuits. She's got her favourite biscuits, which are the black ones. I can't remember what they're called, but I get them from Aldi. And they're about 30p a pack, so they're a bargain. But yeah, both my kids love to have a nice hot cup of tea and biscuits. Don't worry, mummy clean it up after, okay? But yeah, Danny had an awful night's sleep last night, bloody hell. Um, neither of my kids are very good at sleeping through the night. Danny's actually better than Parker. Um, oh, these are the biscuits from Aldi's, cookies and cream. They're about like 30p. Bargain. Yeah, neither of my kids are very good at sleeping through the night. Um, but last night, Danny was atrocious. She didn't wake up, wake up, but I slept in with her and she was just constantly fidgety and she would wake up, but she wouldn't be awake for long. Um, but yeah, she would just be like awake asleep, awake asleep, awake asleep. And yeah, I honestly had such a bad night last night. I've also got a night shift tonight as well, so I'm a little bit tired. But Dan gets home from work at around five or six when I've got a night shift so that I can have a nap. So, two of my parcels have just arrived, guys. Not the one I'm most excited for, but yeah, no. Can't have it all, can we? So, I've been looking for a like long kind of gelé. Is that what they're called? Gelé? What's it called? Gelette or gelé? Anyway, <laughs> I've been looking for one for a while and I managed to find one, find? I managed to find one on ASOS and it's in the Black Friday sale. My only problem is they only had it left in a size medium, which according to them is like a 10 to 12 or something. So yeah, no idea if it's going to fit, but I thought I would order it. Oh, there's a van that's just turned up outside and this may well be the parcel that I am waiting for. I think it's my parcel, I think it's my parcel. <laughs> it's not even that exciting guys. You'll see when it comes and you'll be like, why is she so excited for that? But I am, I'm just so excited. Let me try this on Storm. Oh, off you get. Well it fits, oh it fits. I probably wouldn't be able to do it up but I never ever do up a coat anyway. Oh it's gone somewhere else guys. It's not mine. Oh crap. I absolutely love this, it's got pockets. Oh this is perfect. Absolutely. Perfect, just what I was looking for. Oh guys, he's coming! My parcel's here! Yay! Yay! Parcel's here, Dan Dan! So yeah, as I said earlier, <laughs> It is nothing too exciting, but it is my new rug. I have been looking. Let me pause this TV a minute. <laughs> I have been looking for a new rug for this lounge for a while. And I couldn't find one and I didn't know what colour to go for because it's like green and cream in here. I really just couldn't decide on a colour. But anyway, I found this yesterday. This came really quick because I ordered this yesterday. I found this on a website. I can't remember the name of the website at the moment. But if anyone is interested, I will link it for you in the description box below. But I found this yesterday and it was such a bargain for the size. Obviously, I don't know what it's like yet because I haven't opened it. But I believe it was £25. And as I said, I ordered it yesterday. And it's been delivered already. So that is crazy. Oh, wow. Wow. we got a new rug. I think it's going to be quite a thin rug. But that's fine. Because obviously for the price, I mean 25 quid, I just wanted something 
I just wanted a rug basically and I just wanted, I didn't want like a thick pile or anything, I just wanted something that would look nice on the floor. Uh, oh, you helped Dan Dan? Mm. You got it? Yay! So, I saw this one on the website and I saw the colours of it and I just thought the colours of this rug would go perfectly in this lounge. So, ah, here it is. Oh, it is lovely. So, it's grey, cream and black. It is a really, really good size. It is a really good size actually. Just going to need something to kind of hold it down a bit, aren't I? Oh, I love it. Is that nice? That's really nice. I think what I'm going to have to do is pop it under the sofa for a little bit so it like gets the kinks out. But yeah. So I've just kind of propped it under the sofa at the minute in the hope that by the time I hoover it a couple times um, it will look better. But yeah, I'm really chuffed with it. I really think it goes with the lounge actually. Oh, I love it. Yay, do you like? You do? I love it. I think it's really cool. Anyway, let me show you what I've got in the other parcel that I received. I think, is it nice? I think this is Mummy's new Christmas onesie. Should we have a look? Yay! I don't know if it's gonna fit. We can try it, can't we? So I wanted a new onesie to wear over the, over the Christmas period. Obviously we're not going out a lot on that at the moment. I love a onesie. I've got the kids both a new onesie each. And yeah, I just really wanted a new onesie, so Please do not remove unless you are satisfied and you do not want to return. So this is a Fair Isle fleece onesie in red and this is from Boho. I really loved it because it's not got cuffed um, legs, it's got like wide legs and I thought that was really cute. So yeah, I'm going to try this on and I will show you what it looks like. Oh my god, I absolutely adore this onesie. This is the best thing ever <laughs> stormy's trying to get my baubles but let me turn you around so this is my new onesie it's got fluff hanging away from it but yeah it fits so nice um i love the legs i love the fact that they haven't i love the fact that they're a wide leg just they just look really really slouchy and really wearable but yeah I'm absolutely in love with this onesie so this was actually a little bit expensive I ummed and ahed about buying this for a good week before I actually bought it um this was 34 pound which for a onesie is quite expensive but what I'm trying to do now I'm trying to be better with my money and if I see something that I like, I basically put it in a bookmark. Stormy, do not chew my rug. And um, basically, if I keep going back to it and I really want it after like a week, then I know that it's the one. So I looked at some other onesies. I kept looking. I kept looking everywhere. And I kept going back to this boho onesie. So, um, yeah, basically what happened was I've had my first ever pay from YouTube. So yeah, I'm going to do a separate video about that anyway. But I've had my first ever pay from YouTube and I thought I would treat myself. So this is the stuff that I treated myself with today basically. So yeah, I just thought, I just thought there's no others that I love as much. I do really, really love it. I kept going back to it and I thought, fuck it. <laughs> I'm going to buy it for myself and I absolutely adore it. Um, I'll try to get you in the shop better so that you can see it in full length but yeah do you like mummy's onesie can you feel 
<laughs> I think these are going to end up getting cut off, aren't they? Because they're going to be annoying. <laughs> yes, they are. They're going to be annoying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I absolutely adore it. It's really, really soft. No, Dan Dan. It fits really, really well. So this is the size large. I love the legs. I love that it's a wide leg and not a tight leg. Yeah. Absolutely adore this. So I just want to wear this now. No. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, it's Nanny's house. You ready to go to Nanny's? Yeah, because mummy got work tonight, okay? So you go see put nannies tonight. Mummy dropping you off early because mummy going to go do shopping on her own without no children. I am so excited. <sighs> Hello, baby girl. What you got? You got Smarties. <gasps> Cheeky. Mummy had to get some diesel, didn't she? So mummy got you some Smarties. Right, ready? Hold on to mummy. Oh. Nannies. So I've just arrived in Bridgewater and I'm just outside of my local Costa. So apparently now you can actually order on your phone to have it ready to collect in store. So I'm going to try this for the first time. So collect in store. Allow... Yes, I am at that one there. I want the hot chocolate. Oh, that's just the normal. No, where's the Christmas menu then? Tea. Ah, festive. Right, I want the terry's chocolate orange yum yum i'll have one of those please in a medium i'll have semi skin milk no syrup oh flake marshmallow oh i'll have a marshmallow yeah add to order yum yum terry's chocolate orange with a marshmallow so now what do we do so now Oh, I can pay with my points. Bargain, pay with points. So I ain't even got to pay. Right. Order. So I don't know if I get a notification on here or something when it's ready. There we go, it's all ready. Go to the collection point in store and let the barrister know that you're there. So I'm guessing now there's a little collection point in front of me which is just inside the shop so I'm guessing I'm just gonna wait for somebody to walk over there and place a drink in there and then I'm gonna run in and see if it's mine I suppose but yeah that makes it a lot better obviously with all this COVID around I'm really trying not to go into shops I'm only going shopping today because I've done everything that I can do, everything that I can buy online, I've brought. I've done whatever I can do online, but the rest of the things that I need to get, I need to go into the shop for, and I'm doing it today before lockdown gets lifted on the second, because I know once lockdown's lifted, all the shops are back open, and there's the Christmas rush, I know that the shops are going to be so so busy I'm not going to want to be going in them so my plan is today to do like a big food shop for a month luckily I've got a huge freezer and then I've got like um, a priority slot so I can get little bits and bobs delivered each week as we need it but I'm going to do a big big food shop I'm going to get all Parker's stuff done so that basically during after today I won't need to step foot into a shop again so this is really really good that you can do this just got to see if it works and I was allowed to pay with my points so I haven't even spent any money but yeah nobody's gone over there yet so I'm just going to keep an eye out and then I've got to head to B&M yes <laughs> oh have you not got the orange oh no it's fine yeah <laughs> thank you yay
and that is it I stepped foot in that shop for all of about two seconds I picked up my drink and I left absolutely gutted though they have ran out <laughs> of the Terry's chocolate orange segments how extremely gutting is that anyway mm, that's so good right let's get to B&M so I've just come out of B&M I didn't film anything in there guys because I'm not gonna lie to you it is manic today like I got into the car park and I was like shit in hell um, I'm really really glad that I've come out today to do all of this because I know it's payday but I'm thinking if it's this busy today by the time lockdown gets lifted next week and all the shops get reopened everyone will be panicking and stressing because a lot of people wouldn't have done their Christmas shopping yet or whatever and I just know that in December the shops are, are gonna be absolutely manic um, yeah B&M was so busy so I didn't get my camera out I spent a lot of money um, I spent 120 quid guys <laughs> I did get everything that I needed to get and I did get Parker's birthday stuff. So what I'm gonna do, because I got so much, I'm just looking for a place to park. Um, probably over here, actually. Oh, baby, then. Baby, lady. Hello, thank you. Um, because I spent so much and I've literally got so much stuff, what I'm just gonna do is do a separate haul video um that video will go live before this video does so if you want to see what i got in b&m today um i will link the video in the description box below because i've had a brainstorm whilst i've been driving around i kind of decided to myself that i'm gonna make this video my first vlogmas video so i've really really wanted to do vlogmas i wanted to do it last year but i don't live a very exciting life like i don't do a lot i've got two kids i do night shifts i'm tired a lot we just don't do a lot and obviously this year with corona and being on lockdown and stuff there's just no way that i can do like a proper vlogmas so what i've decided to do is like a weekly vlogmas so every week on a sunday or whatever day of the week i'm gonna put like a weekly vlog out a vlogmas video and just show you what i've got up to during the week there might be a couple days where i film where i'm doing stuff there might be three four days of the week where i film nothing because i've done nothing but i thought maybe if i do like a longer vlog once a week so that is what i'm going to do so i do hope that you're enjoying it obviously today's vlog is just going to be one day because it's my busiest day this week and i am just full on so i've just parked in aldi's i'm going to go in there now and attempt to do a really big food shop um yes it's half past one i've got to pick up parker at half past three so i need to do this food shop get home pack everything away before i then go pick him up from school so yeah wish me luck guys anyway it's probably going to be too busy in there to film as well so i'll just go and do what i gotta do and i'll see you when i get home oh my god guys look at this wow 160 pound later i did treat myself to these two pillows though these were 8.99 each and they are so big i thought that these would go perfectly with my new black and grey rug so yes I'm very happy with those look at this oh my god anyway I've got to bag up all this shopping get it in the car get home get it packed away before I've got to go and pick up Parker <laughs> so yeah wish me luck oh my god guys I do not know where to start so I've got all this to pack away and all this over here. I do feel good though that it's all gone, done. Oh, let me show you the pillows. Let me show you. Oh, that looks cute, doesn't it? With me rug. So the rug's looking really good. It's just this side here. So hopefully soon I should be able to pull it out from under the sofa and bring it out into the middle a bit more. Or do you think I should just keep it under the sofa? I don't really know. 
I think it needs to be pulled out a bit, doesn't it? I'm not sure. Look at Stormy playing with a bauble. He absolutely loves playing with baubles. I spoke to Dan earlier and Dan's broke down in his work lorry. <laughs> so I've got no idea what time he's going to be home. No idea if I'm going to be able to actually have a nap before I go to work. So yes, the joy, isn't it? That's life. Hey ho. We we go on, we go on. Hello. Oh, I missed you. Did you miss mummy? Did you miss me? When I pulled up onto the driveway, this little man here was sat up in the windowsill waiting, weren't you? Oh, I do love you. I do love you. You're so gorgeous, aren't you? You're not so little no more though, are you? Eh, hey, you're mummy's boy. So yeah, as I got back home, the neighbour two doors down from me also got home at the same time. And she said she was singing to him, how much is that doggy in the window? Oh, it's well cute. But um, she said that whenever I go out, he often sits in the window and people watches. So I'm really happy about that, you know. At least he's kind of not in here moping around. I always leave the TV on for him as well. Some people think I'm crazy, but I'm like, don't want him to sit in here bored. At least if he's bored, he can watch TV, you know. <laughs> Hello. Right, I've got to get this done. I'll speak to you soon. <laughs> This year I think about how I'm so lucky to have a place that I can come home to. Yes, I am on my way. We'll put our differences aside and just enjoy this moment of peace and love and happiness. We come together to celebrate. I've just been on those absolute... You know one of those like crazy mad 10 minutes where you just run around doing 20 things at the same time. But now I've got it all done, so I'm chuffed. <laughs> so yeah, just done a quick hoover. Um, the edge of the rug is still sticking up and it's winding me up and I don't know what to do about it. I suppose, do I just need to lay something heavy on it for a little while? That would probably help, wouldn't it? But I'm loving that rug in this room. Love it, and my two cushions. I do want to get some more cushions, but I'm happy with those for the moment. But yeah, this rug, absolutely love it. So the thing that I was going to put together that I got from B&M is this. It's a contemporary nest of two square tables. Um, basically, we used to have this in exactly the same, but the large coffee table. But where our lounge is so small, it took up quite a lot of the room in like the middle of the lounge. So I got rid of that and I thought these would be perfect because by the door here, I've got a nice bit of space there. I thought put those there and then when the kids want, when the kids want their like cup of tea and biscuits and stuff, when they need to use the tables, I can just pull them out. Um, only thing is, I'm knackered. <laughs> it's like quarter past four. I haven't really, well, I mean, I sat down and chilled out with Danny this morning, but apart from that, I've not really sat down and chilled out. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave that, and because it's quite heavy, oh, shh, hang on. <laughs> I think my pork chops are on fire. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I love them like that. Oh. They're nice. Oh, bloody oh, hell. It's alright. Oh, I think Stormy's worried. Mummy, get it off. No, it's okay. Oh, bless him. Oh, baby. It's okay. It'll go in a minute. The back door's open, alright. Bless you. I would open the front door, but you'll run out. <laughs> Fucking typical. Are you okay? Oh, baby, come and give your mummy a cuddle. Come and give your mummy a cuddle. Oh, you're just going to lay there. You want a belly rub? You want a belly rub? You want a belly rub, do you? <laughs> so, yeah, as I was saying, I think I might just lay that on the rug a minute to help lay it flat. And I might leave that for Dan and Parker to do in the morning because I've got a night shift tonight. And Danny's at her nanny's. When I come home from work at eight, I normally get straight into bed and I normally sleep for 12, so for like four hours. Um, 
why Stan and Parker do whatever they want to do. So I think I'm going to leave that for them to do in the morning because... Do you know why? Because I can't be bothered. <laughs> That's why I really can't be bothered. I am really loving this room at the moment. Look how cute this looks. In my little pup pup. I love that rug. I've got a little Christmas scene there on the TV. These are brilliant for YouTube backgrounds because I filmed my B&M haul. I just popped that up on the TV as a background. But I think this room's really, really coming together now. I love all the lights in the tree. The only thing I don't like about the tree is those blue lights. I've got to get rid of those. But that's something for next year. I can't be asked this year. Um, I put those lights on the tree last year and I packed the tree away with the lights still on. And basically I'm lazy and I can't be bothered to take it all apart. So I'm going to make sure I write a note in my calendar or something for next year that I need a new set of either bright light. I think I'm going to get the same as what's around here actually. These are, they, they're the cool white and the warm white in one. And they are brilliant. They were from the range. So I think if I get the same set that's around there to put on the tree, I think that'll look a lot better but yeah i'm really happy with how this lounge is looking at the moment actually i think it's starting to pull together now i was a bit worried it was a bit plain and blah do you know what i mean but but i like it you know i think a couple more once we've got rid of all the christmas stuff a couple more kind of plants and stuff around i've got this one in the corner which is from ikea i've got my picture wall here which i am in love with but i do need to get some more pictures and fill up the gaps I need some more pillows. I'm thinking maybe some light green pillows. I love my shelf unit over here, which Dan made out of scaffolding boards. Um, once, obviously, the Christmas stuff's gone, I can sort that out. I love my mirror. But, yeah, I think maybe a couple more trees or something. But I don't want too much in here because it is only a small room and I don't obviously want to crowd it up too much which is why we got rid of the co coffee table because obviously with the coffee table here in the middle of the room there wasn't a lot of room for the kids to play I think when the kids are older and they spend a lot of time in their bedroom it's not so bad but because they're still young they spend all of their time downstairs with us so we needed more room for them to play really oh look at him do you like mummy's new rug stormy grey Hello, baby. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway. Hopefully. Oh, look at those. They look good. This is how I like them. All crispy and burnt. Yum, yum. So, I'm going to have those. Sit down and chill out for a bit. Wait for Dan to come home from work. Have a nap. And then go and do my night shift. So, I'm not going to sign out yet. I'll talk to you later, probably on the way to work or something. So, yeah. That's it for now. And I'll see you soon. Sorry for the rough lighting, guys. I've got my light on my phone because I've just got into bed. Um, but yeah, it is. It's now half past five. Parker's not long got home. Dan's home from work. Um, yeah, and I'm just, I've just gone up to bed to have my nap. So what's it now? Half five. So I need to set my alarm for nine. So I'm going to have like a three and a half hour nap. Then I'm going to get up, get ready, pop to the garage, get a nice monster for my night shift and then go to work. So yeah, I think I'm going to end the vlog here, guys. Obviously, I haven't got a lot more to add. Just me having a nap. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. It's my very first ever vlogmas type video. Um going to plan some tonight while I'm at work I'm going to plan some bits and bobs to do next week with the kids for obviously for vlogmas week two so yeah if you've got any suggestions or anything you would like to see I am going to steer clear of shops and everything in December I think with um corona hanging around and being in the extremely vulnerable category I just don't want to be going in shops um that's why today I kind of did like a really big monthly food shop. Um, that food, obviously, that you saw me packing away earlier, that wasn't kind of all the food for the month. That was just all the bits that I tend to pick up in Aldi. So all like the cheese and the biscuits and, you know, all the all the kind of stuff 
that I can pick up from Audi that's going to last. So I leave myself so much money so I've got enough every week to go to wherever I need to go to get like bread, milk, veg, whatever I need to get. So that was just kind of the the bulk of the stuff. And then I do like a little weekly shop. Um, yeah, I got everything I needed in B&M today. So I finished Christmas, I finished Parker's birthday. I do need to get a card and some bits, but I can buy that online. So I'm really going to try to avoid going into any shops. But I don't know, I might take the kids to a garden centre. I'm not sure. I don't know if they're going to be a bit too busy. Um, I want to take them around to see Christmas stuff. If you've got any, if you're in like the southwest England and there's anything near you like Christmassy that you think would be worth a visit, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, I'll think of something for them to do. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to sleep guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you soon. Bye.